Notice, and Jeremy introduced this earlier, uh, the rock star Rock Hudson uh, that I always enjoy listening to, uh, the metabolic curve. We are at the inert uh, time of the day when people don't make hard decisions. But what is this? In a full day mediation, this is exactly the time of day when we ask them to make the hardest decision they probably ever make in their life. To come up with a hero story, they can tell their boss, uh, spouse, friend at the bar, whoever it is, about why they took a conflict off of the conveyor belt headed to court where they could blame it on a dumb jury or dumb judge and take that responsibility for their own. Uh, he mentioned the metabolic curve and what happens. You know what happens. We followed it today. Uh, here's the graph of the Israeli judges, the parole rate, grant rate. They tried to find all the other reasons why people were getting paroled, but it came down to what time of day their case came up for consideration. Notice that at 9.30 in the morning, hopefully they didn't stay up too late watching a ball game and eat light breakfast, you have a 75% chance of getting paroled. Same prisoner, later in the morning, about 11.30, uh, drops down to uh, somewhere below 10%. Your best hope then is for a good lunch, a timeout, a pop uh, that gets you almost where you started in the morning, up in the 65, 70% range. Then it trickles back down, and you, then you just hope for a strong cup of coffee and a sweet cookie uh, that bounces you up. But guess what? Those don't last long, and then you get down to my time slot. Uh, which is my job to keep you guys semi-awake until they're ready to open the bar. Uh, this is the time of day that we're asking people to make these difficult decisions that they have to defend to everybody else. And uh, it stands to reason that we back up and look at We spend a lot of time, and by the way, I'm a, you guys save the world. You're doing international conflict. American Red Cross saving everyone. In the, I'm a workaday mediator. I'm just trying to get one conflict at a time pushed out. And usually, uh, I, try and, I play a game with myself. All you guys do all this interest-based stuff where you're able to delay and talk about uh, lots of terms other than money. Uh, the, it may be a self-selection problem, but the people that pick me uh, know that I can only handle so many uh, variables. I'm not a multivariant guy. And we'll have the audacity at some point in the morning, not even the afternoon, to bring up money. And so uh, that's the world I live in, where we're pushing poker chips around, and the proxy for apologies and all that kind of stuff are how, much are you gonna, how many zeros are going to be on the check. And uh, so as try as I might to push all that stuff and get a parking lot full of interest-based things, uh, somebody's usually rude enough to bring up money. But look at, I uh, went to a great presentation that tracks the metabolic curve that they came up with empirically in the Israeli judge test. A group of very fine mediators in the International Academy of Mediators came up with a, they were going to focus on the three different basic sections of a mediation that looked just like this. Uh, the beginning, the middle muddle, they called it, and closing. We spend all our time coming up with great, great closing tools and ways to fill the gap at the end that are, that are wonderful. But as you'll see in a minute from the graphs of real dollar concessions that are made during the day, the big concessions are made in the morning, the first third. Uh, and that's where you'll see in a minute, um, I'm going to show you graphs of how real deals come together. And you'll see big movements in the morning, spaced out in time. And we track for two variables. One, the dollar or money concession. They're converted. There are other currencies and converted. But uh, that and the time it takes to make them. Because we all know that the right number at the wrong time is the wrong number. Uh, people will constantly say, uh, well, gee, if mediation, uh, all we, if you, uh, negotiation will expand to fit the space available. We know we're going until 5.30. Magically turn the clock hands down to 3.30 and we'll start there. I said, well, that's great. Uh, it's like saying all uh, professional basketball games come down to the last two minutes. So why don't we put 100 points on the board for each team, let them play out the last two minutes and take it as it falls. Uh, not too satisfying for the folks that didn't get to drink the beer for four quarters, and, and neither is it satisfying for those who want to speed into the process and get that deal number uh, that they never give us um, and speed to 3.30. So what's going on? And can we learn from what Randy and uh, Jeremy and so many others tell us about the human predictability? We seem like we're irrational especially in uh, periods of great uncertainty and uh, uh, in litigation. 
And I always assume that I'm catching people on next to their worst day in their life when uh, they're going to act out as badly as they can. The display mechanisms are different. In divorces, it's acceptable to throw things. In uh, business uh, mediations, you have to dress like this and take extremely hard, tough positions as a proxy for throwing something at somebody. But uh, what you'll see is if we look at this in reverse, that uh, my contention is that deals come together in the first third. Impasse is avoided by uh, keeping them in the building during the middle muddle, the 11.30 to 3.30 time frame. Nothing great happens. We just have to survive it, right? Um, it is, the pace, is, pace has already been set by the first few moves, but if we get to 3.30, some of the alcoholics will get the shakes, others will get impatient, and we'll get a deal, right? If it hadn't blown up by 3.30, we're gonna get a deal. It's a question of how we craft the hero story so that they can uh, sell it back home or at work. So, um, the great...